My name's Josh. I'm the founding owner of Coletti. And on this Veterans Day, I'd like to, to take a minute, if you'd allow me, uh, to tell our story. It was November 2002. I found myself one cold morning standing around a fire pit in Kaust province, northern Afghanistan, with one other guy. I was a infantry rifle platoon leader at the time with the 82nd Airborne Division. And our, our company had the mission uh, to, to go into a local village and to try to find the, uh, the Taliban operatives that were, were rocketing uh, our base every night. Well, as the, uh, as the squad leaders were, were preparing, uh, doing final inspections and whatnot, uh, I was standing around the fire uh, with our Afghan interpreter. His name was, was Reza. And I, and, I, and I asked, just in the course of conversation, in the course of chatting, I asked, hey, Reza, explain this to me. Why is it that the, the villagers don't just turn over the, the Taliban to us? They're, they're, they're not locals, they're, they're Arabs, they're foreign fighters. Why don't they just turn them over to us and, and we go away? Like, why are they hiding them? Why are they protecting them? Well, Reza, he, he looked down and he looked at the fire and, and kind of was, was gathering his thoughts. And then, then he, he looked up and he, he said, Josh, the villagers believe that the Taliban are their best protection against the West. And I said, protection against the West? We're, we're not here to, to conquer Afghanistan. We're, we're here to find the terrorists that, that flew planes into the World Trade Center on 9-11. And Reza, she said, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about protection against, against Western armies. I'm talking about protection against Western ideas. My jaw hit the floor. Like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Western ideas. Like, we ex explain that to me. And, 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 and Reza, Reza looked back down at the fire and you, you can tell he was gathering his thoughts. But when he looked up, I could tell that he had this resolute stare in his face and he had a speech prepared. He had been waiting to talk to me about this for weeks. And he says, J says Josh, Take, take, the, the, take your ideas about Christianity. I said, go ahead. He says, Christians, you Christians believe that God, the one true God, that, that he had sex with Mary and produced Jesus. He says, to Muslims, this is, this is blasphemous. This is, this is disgusting. This is heretical. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Christians don't believe that. I think it's disgusting too. And he said, he put his hand up. He said, no, this is true. I was taught this by my imam. And he has more education than you. I, I swallowed hard uh, and said, go on. I, I did not want to kill the conversation. You know, I, I was curious. I was legitimately curious. Well, what is the, the Western ideas? And, but he had, he had just told me one big one. And then he went on to say, Christians are polytheists. They worship God and they worship Jesus. And they also worship a spirit. It's just to, to Muslims, this is... This is heresy. This is, this is deserving of death. I, I just nodded. I, I wanted him to continue. And he said, he says, Christians also, they, they read and they, and they teach uh, the Bible. And, and the Bible was corrupted by the Jews after Muhammad gave the Quran. It was corrupted by the Jews to deceive Muslims so they would not follow true Islam. And he went on. And he went on and on. For the next 20 minutes, I listened to Reza share his, his, his incorrect, but, but sincerely held beliefs about, about Christianity and about uh, Judaism and, and about Buddhism. And, and it was at this moment that I, that, that I realized. I just had this revelation that, that religious ignorance was fueling conflict in the region. That, that misunderstandings, that, that just untruths about, about, about basic religious tenets, the faith, the faith of, of many peoples, that was misunderstood. And because it was misunderstood, Muslims were, were, were stirring in their hearts hatred because, because of the hatred from Allah, the hatred for these things. I realized that, that the religious intolerance of, of the Taliban was based in part, a meaningful part, 
on a misunderstanding about Christianity and Judaism and, and, and Buddhism and, and other religious. And I, I just I just stood there staring at the fire, thinking that 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 this is natural because it was illegal to even share the truths of these things in that country. I was, I was struck that here is this 20 something Afghan male. I mean, he was, he was, uh, you know, about as old as I was. And, and I, I didn't really care much about religion, but he, this guy, he wasn't a religious guy. He was, he was an interpreter that he had so much animosity over Christianity. And it was, it was at this moment that I, that I realized and I started to wonder, might it be that, that, that bring that re, the, the truth of religion, might it be that, that this could generate peace in ways that, that military action had thus far been unable. You know, I wanted to share with Reza the, the truth of Christianity, but I couldn't, it would he didn't want to hear it. And it was against general order. Number one, the, the order to not proselytize the, the locals. So like I said, I, I stared at the fire and I listened. And as I did, I, I made a, a resolution in my heart to one day bring the truth of Christianity to that region. Not in any forcible way, but to bring just a small taste of the, of the freedoms that we have as, as Americans, as Westerners. The, the First Amendment rights of the freedom of press and the freedom of just information, the freedom of religion, to bring these things to the region that, that maybe, just maybe, it would... It would generate peace, both in both in this age and the in the age to come. So that's our story. That's why Coletti's mission is to democratize religious truth worldwide. That's why we give our profit to support religious freedom initiatives in the most closed countries of the world. That's it. That's our story. Thanks so much for listening and God bless you.